Hello, and welcome to the very first inaugural edition of our my new video blog, which we're calling The Musical Theater Factory. And you may wonder why I call it The Musical Theater Factory. It's because we have so much stuff going on here at the Fifth Avenue almost every week of the year that I think of it as this is a factory. We've got something in the rehearsal hall and something on the stage and something in development, and that's exactly the way we want it. We want to be constantly producing and creating and inspiring new musical theater and bringing audiences in to see it. Today I'm going to tell you a little bit about our upcoming production of the new musical Saving Amy, which we have just, as I speak about this, we've just finished our first partial week of rehearsal, and tomorrow we'll go into this, this, the first full week of rehearsal, leading up to the production coming up in a, in a few weeks. And I want to show you today, give you a little glimpse of the set design for the show, which I'm very excited about. And you'll get to see something that we use as a tool to create the show, which is called the set model. And this is something that the designer and his assistants create. First they'll do the designs, they'll draw them, they'll sketch them, they'll do those kinds of things. And then they'll put it into three dimensions into a model. So here's what this looks like. We'll sort of pull it into the view here. and. What this is is a, a, two, a scale, a two scale dimension of the of the of the model of the set. And what uh, Walt Spangler is our set designer, and he he and I together were inspired by Amy's theatricality. Amy was one of the great show people of the world. Even though her focus was religion, she was by without a doubt one of the great show people of all time. And she uh, built this temple called Angelus Temple in Los Angeles in the 1920s. It's still there. You can still go see it. It's still very active. And uh, it was Hollywood in the 1920s, so that was part of our jumping off place. This set is not exactly based on any real architecture from Angelus Temple, which is a beautiful building, but more on what we think the idea of Angelus Temple and the impact it would have had on an audience in the 1920s. So we were inspired by Busby Berkeley. We were inspired by the Emerald City from the movie of, of, of The Wizard of Oz. And just by this idea that she would create something that seemed like a vision of heaven, an art deco heaven, but, an, but a vision of heaven. And that's what this. So you'll see that on our set we have two large staircases uh, uh, which create a main playing space that will sort of function like a Shakespearean set. There's an upper level, a lower level, and the set itself can go and become anywhere that Amy needs to go in her epic story. That's just a little glimpse into the creation of Saving Amy. We'll be back uh, several times a week to update you. Have a great time.